Good morning, friends. Prepared Suburbanite back at you. Um, this was a, a very unusual weekend. Uh, it poured rain all day Saturday, and uh, I, I was kind of beside myself because I had a whole list of things that I wanted to get done uh, around here, outdoors, and couldn't do it. But thankfully, um, <laughs> The uh, last piece of tax data that I needed to complete our income tax uh, returns um, came in um, in Saturday's mail. So I spent Saturday afternoon doing my income taxes. And boy, was that a lot of fun. Well, anyway, yesterday turned out to be uh, very brisk but sunny. And it's... Uh, um, kind of that way this morning too. It's uh, today's Monday the 11th and uh, I'm out in the uh, backyard and uh, wanted to uh, go over a few thoughts that I've had over the last couple of days. One of them is about um, how the uh, um, um, Illegal immigrants are counted in the census and the effect that that has on um, our elections. And the other thing that I wanted to discuss is my uh, personal views on daylight savings time. So stick around. Well, let's talk about daylight savings time first. And uh, um, I'm a morning person, and uh, daylight savings time has always been kind of a bane for me uh, when we have to uh, spring forward because uh, being a morning person, I like to get up early and uh, get started on the day early and when you spring forward, like we have to do during uh, uh, daylight saving time, um, it doesn't get, the sun doesn't come up until uh, maybe quarter after 7 or 7.30. I think the official breaking of dawn is at 7.30 in uh, this latitude right here. So um, all that time from like 6 in the morning until 7.30 when the sun actually does come up is dark and um, I'm, I'm not sure how much daylight we're really saving by doing that. Now I do kind of appreciate the uh, uh, warm spring and summer months at lasting a little bit longer but the natural cycle sort of takes care of that uh, without the necessity of goofing around with our clocks. So the, uh, the argument that um, we need to adopt one, whether it's daylight saving time or whether it's uh, standard time, um, we pick one and stick with it, um, I, I think leaves us open for a couple of things. And maybe you'll appreciate this, but what kind of a trigger do you need to remember to change your uh, batteries and your smoke alarms? What trigger do you need to uh, clean out your dryer vents? Uh, there's a few other things that sort of depend on switching the clocks, uh, your furnace filters, things like that, um, that are supposed to be triggers to remind you to do those kinds of things. And I, uh, um, I, I think if we don't goof around with the clocks and we just stick with one time system uh, all year round, well, we'll never change the batteries in our uh, um, smoke detectors or carbon monoxide detectors. We won't change our furnace filters or whatever. Anyway, um, it may be somewhat humorous and somewhat of a kick in the butt, but from my personal standpoint, I think um, springing ahead is a, a, a real pain in the neck being a morning person. So that's, that's it. I don't think we should um, go back to a single kind of a thing. Right now, um, looks like the majority of states, uh, 49 out of 50, 
Um, and I, I, Hawaii may be an exception. Portions of Arizona may be an exception. But everybody else is on board with um, daylight saving time. So um, let's stick with it. It's been around for um, 100 years, I'm told. So let's, uh, let's not rock the boat. And the other uh, topic that I wanted to get into is the effect that counting our um, illegal immigrants as part of our census and the uh, impact that that has on uh, how our elections are decided. Senator Bill Haggart from uh, Tennessee, he's a Republican, um, sponsored a or introduced an amendment to uh, um, the, the vote on this issue. And uh, um, it's whether illegal aliens should be counted for determining the number of congressional seats and electoral vo college votes that each state gets. So what, what, what's happening now um, as the uh, millions of um, undocumented aliens, newcomers, I guess, is whatever the uh, current euphemism is for these illegals that are f um, flooding our border. Um, when the census comes around, they're going to have to count them because that's what the law currently says. And what the impact of that is that if you add a, a few million newcomers that are illegal aliens that are not here legally, that haven't gone through the process, you count them in the census, that's the determining factor on how many congressional seats a state gets and the number of congressional seats plus two for each of the senators in the state add up to the total in the uh, electoral college. So um, what, what happens when you add millions and millions and millions of illegal aliens is that you've got demographics is destiny. And as long as it continues to go and as long as the law says we have to count illegal aliens in our census determinations, that means that they will have an impact on our elections by keeping, uh, at least at a status quo, and maybe California may lose another one, who knows, but it's going to keep the blue states blue because that's where a lot of these folks are uh, uh, heading for. And I, I'm afraid that that's part of the big reason that the Democrats are so hell-bent to make sure that we count all the uh, people that live in the United States is our, in our census. So um, the uh, amendment that uh, Haggerty put up uh, just recently, and it was just a couple of days ago, um, the House um, voted on that and <coughs> um, the opposition won unanimously. Every single Democrat voted yes to keep the um, census count, including the illegal aliens that are here. So what that does is, is basically cement the future for how all this is going to be handled in the Electoral College. I'm a little disappointed in uh, um, a lot of the folks from a sense of fairness. I don't think that we should be counting illegal aliens in our census because of the impact that it has in our elections. For every, um, however many per um, congressional seat, um, how many, uh, 685 or 700,000 um, people, that's, uh, that's a seat. 
and um, with millions and millions and millions of illegal aliens coming, they can preserve an awful lot of seats that are reserved for Democrats. And I suppose it's possible that once in a while a, a Republican will get uh, the benefit of this, but probably not. So I'm very concerned about that. What do you think? I don't know. Um, I'd like to hear what your thoughts are on both daylight savings time and on uh, this whole question of should illegal aliens be counted in our census. This is the Prepared Suburbanite reminding you to be prepared always, and I'll see you all on the next video.